Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. Today, I want to do a little video on Simplify Media. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, basically, what Simplify Media does, it's an application for the iPhone. It's, I believe, it's three dollars or two ninety nine. I believe, actually, it's two ninety nine. I believe in the App Store. And what it does is it allows you to access your home music library anywhere. Anywhere. It works on the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Of course, with the iPod Touch, you can only access it if you have a Wi-Fi connection. With the iPhone, you can access your music library, whether you have Wi-Fi, Edge, or 3G. It doesn't make a difference. So basically, what it allows you to do, as I'm saying, access your music anywhere you are with a, with a connection. Granted, it works better with the iPhone because then you always have a connection of some sort unless you're out like the middle of nowhere and you don't have a cell phone connection. That being said, I'm going to show it off for a second and I'll explain a little bit how it works and the functionality features behind it. So right now, I'm on my iPhone and I'm looking at uh, All Time Low and their album, So Wrong It's Right. And I'm going to just play a little song I have off that album. It's called, it's called Vegas and let's just play it. Um... And right here, you can see, I'm going to see if I, it's connecting, it's buffering. And as you can see, there's got the album art, control the volume. And it is, it even has artist information. Now this is playing through my speaker. It sounds pretty decent. And you can hear that. And it also has artist information about the band uh, that's brought that's that's pulled from last.fm and it also even has lyrics which is pulled from lyric wiki uh, if you want to read the lyrics while you're listening to it and that 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 doesn't have to be implemented into the id3 tags of the song it'll actually pull that information from like i said from last.fm and also from lyric wiki um the so only you need is the song itself don't you don't even need the album art that just gets thrown in there if it's if it's uh, on itunes now what did what saw what what does this work on what what platforms well uh you can use simplify media on of course it works you have to have either the iphone or the ipod touch but what 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 other platforms does it work on well they have different versions um for linux i know who says who says linux isn't supported right they have a version for linux windows and os 10 and did i mention linux so all those linux guys out there it'll it works with Rhythm uh, with 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 Rhythm Box, and on iTunes, it also works with iTunes on both Windows and OS 10, and it also works with Winamp. So if you don't use iTunes and you use Winamp on Windows, it'll work with that too. Basically, you're gonna go to the Simplify Media website. You're going to download Simplify Media. It's free to download on your computer. You're going to install it, and then what you can do is you can set up to uh, you, you can set up an account. You have to have an account. You sign up with an account. You download the software. You install it. You log in with your account. Then you can add up to 30 friends to access your library um, or, or, or whatever playlist you give them access to. So that's really cool. You can either make your whole library available or just certain playlists or what have you, whatever you'd like. Or even an entire folder if you want. Um, and then you can invite up to 30 friends to access that. Or you can just have yourself. doesn't matter. So once you have that, then you have to go to the iPhone, uh, the, the, I'm sorry, the iTunes app, the iTunes um, app, the Apple Store, the App Store. Once you download that onto your iPhone or iPod Touch, that's three bucks. Um, so, but the software for the operating system for Windows, Linux, or OS X is free. So once you have that installed, you have your account set up, you have it on your iPhone or your iPod Touch, enter in your account information, you're good. It'll log in and then it'll show up in iTunes for, uh, it'll see a shared playlist. Mine's called Best Techie because that's the name of my account. And it says Jeff's Mac Pro, that's the name of the the, uh, the playlist, Best Techie-Jeff's Mac Pro. So when I see that, I'm, in, uh, my, my, I'm on my iPhone and I see, if I log into the Simplify Media and I see um, Jeff's uh, Best Techie's Jeff, uh, Jeff's Mac Pro, and I'll show you, that is, you can see that there, I don't know how well, but that's basically my media, uh, that's my music library. So I click into that and then I have access to all the music all of it that I have in iTunes, all of it, it's all there. I can listen to it anywhere I am in the world, provided I have a connection. So that's really cool. Now, Jeff, you're going to say, what about the buffering 
What about the audio quality? How does that? Well, to be honest, the buffering is actually pretty good. From what, from my experience with this, it buffers once in the beginning, and that takes you know about thirty seconds to a minute maybe tops. Buffers, and then it doesn't buffer for the rest of the song. So you, ha so you have uninterrupted listening. The audio quality is is actually good. It's not like if you had the actual MP3 file there. But it, it's 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 passable and it's definitely listenable too. So I, don't worry about the audio quality. If you have decent headphones, it'll sound fine. You heard it playing over the speaker; it sounded pretty good. So, all in all, this application is awesome. I love it. I love the fact now that I can access my music anywhere in the world. I don't have to worry about you know uh, the hard drive size in the iPhone or the iPod Touch because I know I have access to my music no matter where I am, no matter how big the hard drive is. I can listen to all my music. So that's really nice. I give Simplify Media a lot of props for this application. We talked about it, in the, I've talked about it in the past when I jailbroke the iPod and it was only available then. But now with the App Store, they make it available for you uh, for three bucks, and then the software is free on the on the on the on the desktop. Anyway, this has been Live.BestTechie.net. Thank you for watching. And if you have any suggestions or additional software similar to this, maybe that's free, uh, let me know. Leave a comment. If you've tried this software and you want to let me know what you think, leave a comment on, he on YouTube or on the blog post, wherever the case may be. Again, thanks for watching. This has been Live.BestTechNet. And until then, next time, until next time, we'll see you. And remember, take care of your computers.